next is talking of technology. So I'm sure you're, everyone's familiar with Mr. Elon Musk here with his Tesla vehicles, electric vehicles here. Now, one of his main companies that he's known for is for SpaceX, you know. Uh, and another company that is associated with SpaceX is Starlink. For those not familiar, Starlink provides internet services using satellite uh, broadcasts around the world in outer space. Now, obviously, is it a big business here? The fact that Elon Musk is envisioning that enveloping our, uh, in outer space a plethora of satellites that could cover the entire world so that they could provide a stable, fast internet connections to provide for everyone here. And they've been rolling out a test program or beta of sorts wherein you can uh, pre-order uh, Starlink broadband, which is around $99 or around 5,000 pesos. So you can start, uh, so you can avail of their services sometime this year. Uh, so the overall cost will be around $500 or 25000 So it's going to be expensive, but take note, if you're in a remote region where typical, you know, cables or fibers is not accessible in your area, obviously it's going to be expensive for those telcos. You know, a satellite internet connection would be a viable alternative here. So considering the cost, you know, you have the shipping and handling, you have the monthly service fee and the tax, obviously it's going to drive up the, uh, the prices now. Obviously, if more people were to sign up for the, for the services, I think, uh, I think that goal of Elon Musk to make it a consumer product so that everyone can afford here. Now, obviously this technology is going to be limited for its uh, beta run. It's only limited to the North American region or United States and parts of Southern Canada here. So let's see here. Yeah, so starting is targeting coverage in your area in the mid late 2021. So which stated this year. Now, obviously, availability is going to be limited. Orders will be fulfilled on the first come, first serve basis here. And you will receive a notification when it's ready to ship here. Now, obviously, one of the main considerations here that you know they're trying to iron out it in terms of the bandwidth that you'll be able to get from their services. But obviously, regardless of the bandwidth, how high or how low it is, the concern is if there are too many people accessing the net or the internet here, uh, could bottle up and could slow down your access here, which is, you know, we, they don't want to happen here. So what they're doing here is obviously doing some trial and error studying the ins and outs. So depending on some location, some orders may take to six months or more to fulfill. So obviously, you know, placing the order is does not guarantee a service here. And you'll get a message that if you have successfully placed an order here. So... Let's see here. So it looks look something like this. There you go. So as you can see here, not only can you see the confirmation there, but you can see what will be provided to you. You have the dish on the left side, and then you have the cables that will run from the cable going to your modem here. Then you have the modem in the middle. Then this is the power brick, and then this is the router that you're going to use. So it's not a typical one, but it's a very, you know, compact, simple, device so it's easy to install when you're you know when you have the package delivered to your home now the, there is a limitation as i mentioned they're going to limit it so that it would ensure that you know everyone's going to benefit from accessing the internet here so they're going to limit the number of people can sign up in each particular geographic location so maybe it could be in tens hundreds or thousands on a particular location so they can ensure enough capacity for each consumer so they can have an enjoyable experience, not a very slow down, you know, connection here. So they would start with limited number of users per coverage, but I think that would increase as more satellites has been uh, launched in outer space. And you, you can imagine what it would look like, you know, looking at the stars and you're not seeing the stars anymore or the other planets, but you're seeing our satellites hovering in outer space, <laughs> covering the entire name entire uh, planet here so the key here is users can expect to see data that vary in speed so from 50 mbps to up to 150 mbps that's way faster here in our country here and you can expect a low latency of 20 milliseconds up the way to 20, 40 milliseconds 
So, you know, it's it's a good experience, that, you know, better experience than, you know, if you were to use the typical dial-up or even DSL connection here. And obviously, the I think what Elon Musk is seeing is the potential of the market here. Now, it's not the first time that a company has been trying to introduce internet connection, uh, in, internet prov uh, provision for using the satellite here. It's just now that Elon Musk has the technology and the capability to uh, provide such services in a massive scale here. Now, whether there's going to be high demand, I think it would be on a case-to-case -case basis. Hopefully, there's be a big demand for that one so that, you know, especially for local telcos who's not doing a great job. Shout out to, you know, Globe, to, to Smart, to PLDT for not doing a, you know, providing a great service, which is you know, important if you want to retain your customers. You know, if Star Starlink was available here in our country, maybe many people would be shifting, you know, despite the expensive uh, price tag here, as long as you can provide smooth, fast connection speeds here. And obviously, Starlink is now devel delivering initial beta both services, both domestically as well as internationally. And will continue to expand to near global glo coverage of the population in the world uh, in 2021. So you could just imagine here that uh, Starlink will be available in our doorsteps here in our backyard. And according to a tweet from Mr. Elon Musk himself, that they are considering you know a an IPO for Starlink once we can predict cash flow reasonably well, meaning. If there's a big businesses, a big business to be have here or a potential based on the pre-orders, I think it's going to in indicate to him that you know we should pursue this and expand the possibility. Similar how how the Tesla vehicles or electric vehicles came about and what it is today, right? 